Imagine you're just about to walk into a room full of people. What would be the first words you say? Some people would say nothing. They'd just merge into the room shyly, nervously, not really wanting to be noticed. Some people might utter a modest hello or comment on the weather. Others, though, would want to grab hold of the scene. A great fanfare. Look at me, I'm here, they'd say. The party can begin. On the first Easter morning in John's Gospel, Jesus walks into a room filled with disciples and he has every reason for taking that third attention-seeking option. Think what he's just done. He's overcome the cross. He's risen from the dead. He's brought about the new creation. Look at me, he could say. I've only just been in a harrowed hell. But he doesn't do any of that. Instead, he looks at the disciples and the first word he speaks is this. Peace. Peace be with you. And that word peace isn't just a greeting. More than that, it's a proclamation. Now there is peace, he's saying. Now, for the very first time, you can know peace with the Father. You whose lives are troubled and full of sin. You who are addicted to conflict. You who are anxious and worried and grief-stricken. Now, at last, you can know peace. And the peace that Jesus is speaking about is not some human invention. No, this peace flows from the triumph of Easter. By his dying and rising, Jesus has destroyed those old enemies, sin and death, so that those who believe can live in right relationship with the Father. The peace that Jesus talks about flows straight from the Father's heart. The peace which is the gift of Easter comes straight from God. And that is the peace that those disciples can now know. We all need peace just right now. We need peace, first of all, in our nation, riven as it is at the moment by this endless, insidious argument over Brexit, one which is causing such disharmony, not just within our political system, but often within communities and families. And perhaps you also need to know peace in your own life. Perhaps you're weighed down by anxiety or worry or by conflict or by a sense of sin. Perhaps there's problems in your family Perhaps says that you're dealing with issues and problems where you can't see a solution. We need peace. But that peace isn't something that we can simply build on our own. No, that peace is a gift from God. Just as on the first Easter day, Jesus burst into the upper room and shared his peace with the disciples, so my prayer for you this Easter is that Jesus might burst into your heart, into your life, and say to you those words of peace. May you know the peace of Easter, that peace which flows from the Father, and so be able to share that peace with others. Happy Easter. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And may his peace be yours.